Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey friend, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. This is the home of niggonoths and maskills and psalms and songs and lovely dainties prepared fresh daily just for you. This is what we like to call the Bible Bistro. So come on in, sit down. Today we're looking at Psalm 55 verses 6 through 9. So if you have your Bible and you want to open up to Psalm 55, today we're going to look at David's wish. Also his prayer and his this is a his prayer today is impeccatory. It's one of those prayers against the enemy. So his wish, though, is a little bit, um, well, I think we're going to find it familiar. It's a lot like something that we might say or even pray. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with praying this prayer. But just understand, this is a prayer that's centered on his pain and not on God's promise. So let's look at that today. Let's look beginning in verse 6. And I said, oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then would I fly away and be at rest. Lo, then would I wander off and remain in the wilderness, Selah. I would hasten my escape from the windy storm and tempest. Destroy, O Lord, and divide their tongues, for I have seen violence and strife in the city. Yeah, this is a complaint, all right. And this is is not something that maybe we haven't said. And listen to him there in 6. Oh, that I had wings like a dove, I would fly away and be at rest. Oh, if only, if only. This is David's prayer because he's upset with the enemy, whoever that might be. And we, I think I mentioned yesterday that this could be Ahithophel and Absalom, those men who, um, you know, of course, Absalom was David's son. Ahithophel was his closest advisor. And that's who Adam Clark suggests that these enemies are here. Yeah, and so David is just, he's heartbroken, and in his heartbreak, he prays this prayer and says, oh, I just wish I could fly away. Boy, I tell you what, we feel that way, don't we? We understand, David. It's easy to sit here and say, oh, come on, David, grow up. But you know what? We do the exact same thing, exactly the same thing. We say, oh, if I could just run away, if I could just find that place of rest, If I could just get out from under all this load, all this burden, lo, that I would wander off and remain in the wilderness. Oh, because there it's just so much better. There I would be away from all this trouble. No, you know what? You're going to take your trouble with you. And even if you wander off into the wilderness, trouble will find you there too. There's only one place of rest, and that's in the presence of the Lord. Run there. Run there and call on him and rest in him. Then we have a Selah, comes in after verse 7, and the Selah here is a nice break. Again, it's, of course, Selah means that it's a break from the music, from the words. It's a time of pause, reflection, meditation, and then we pick up again, I would hasten my escape from the wind and stormy tempest. Well, so we kind of knew that, but he just wants to emphasize the fact that he really, really, really wants to run away from all the trouble that's in his life. And of course, we do too, don't we? We get kind of whiny like this. Probably all of us do, you know, in so many different ways and occasions. And then he makes this prayer. And this is that imprecatory prayer. It's against the enemy. Destroy, listen to him. Destroy, O Lord, and divide their tongues. For I've seen violence and strife in the city. Yeah. And so because there's violence and the strife in the city, David says, destroy them. This is his prayer, and he makes it very clear that he what he wants the Lord to do here. Maybe this will change a little bit as we go through the psalm. We'll see what happens to his prayer. Destroy, O Lord, and divide their tongues. Of course, the tongue is the thing. It's the grand weapon, really, in the Psalter. You know, I think that we should probably classify it as one of those major weapons that we have listed in the Psalms. It's not the sword or the spear. It's not the arrow. It's not any of those things. It happens to be the tongue. Well, I hope you'll join me again tomorrow, and we'll look at see what happens here as David outlines his complaint on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. 
The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.